there we go. Oh my God. What is it with us and conceding at the last minute to bottle points? But aside from that, absolutely brilliant performance against Leicester. Worldie from Aaron Ramsey. We always score worldies there, which is amazing. But we have finally got a decent fixture. I know we should have beaten QPR, which was obviously completely unacceptable the way that we didn't win that one. Um, however, we're going to have a nice few run of games coming up, which we really need considering how tough it has been for the start of the season. And team is out as well. So Anakin Goal, NG McGuinness, Gutas and Collins at the back with a midfield trio of Siopis who debuted against Leicester, Ramsey and Joe Rolls as well, captain. And then a front three of Callum O'Dowd, Yaku Mete and also Ike Ogbo, which is probably the team I would have uh, picked today as well, considering the last performances. And then on the bench, Runnison, Wintel, Adam Sawyers, Tanner, uh, Renovon to Ruben Cole, Itete and Carlon Grant as well. So very interesting lineup. Sheffield Wednesday, we all know their struggles obviously at the moment, but I've been solid to start the season as well and uh, have been really a tough nut to crack. But apart from that, we really need a win today or at least a point bare minimum. In fact, I'd even say minimum win today. But after that, let's do it. Thoughts on today then? Yeah, last home game against Queen's Park Rangers, I think everybody was a foregone conclusion that we'd win that match after they got absolutely smashed in the first game of the season and uh, really focuses the mind, doesn't it, for this fixture against Sheffield Wednesday. Uh, can't be complacent. OK, we've got, I know Josh Bowler's missing for this one, which will give Matey a chance, probably on the right wing. I don't think he'll start up front with Ogbo outright. Um, yeah, Ogbo will start a striker, won't he? So, really need to take all three points today at home got to come out they've got some fairly good quality players we know Barry Bannon in the middle of the park and the buyers as well yeah. Patterson comes back and also Volks but I think they've been on the bench for the most part this season I think um, Patterson started two and been on the bench once and Volks has only started one game, so uh, it'll be good to see those guys. But uh, yeah, looking forward to hopefully, please, can we get three points at home? Just a performance and a result, please, today. <laughs> Mud. Oh, unlucky Rambo. Sir, team ball. Oh, unlucky Odauda. Oh, what was that? Bullets Bobby, are they? Arrow Bullets Bobby, are they? Very last, he's in the ball. About time for an hammer. Come on. Lovely, have a shot. Oh, 
Oh, unlucky JC. Unlucky. Okay, so that's the end of the first half, nil-nil. So, you could say it starts to get back and forth in the second half, but to be honest, I think we're very cagey, um, especially around the middle of the park, we're losing it way too much in my eyes. And Sheffield Wednesday going very direct today, uh, really smashing it forward. Um, I mean, they've had the odd chance as well, they should have put it away. Kind of Patterson should have won his chance away, definitely at the end of the second, first half. But, yeah, we really need to switch on because getting into the middle, losing it, making stupid mistakes, and yeah, it's completely different to how we played against Leicester, but one thing I will say, Siopis looked absolutely fantastic, just carrying on from his performance against Leicester last week, but yeah, massive changes needed in the second half, and what do you think? Yeah, I think positives, we have had some fairly decent passages of play, where it was like, but my mate see, bad. I think there was one diving header, wasn't it, which he should have really hit the target with, but yeah. uh, apart from that, we're playing like, way too close to our own goal, we should be playing 30 yards further forward. And at times, we've nearly been caught, it's nearly been caught. Cal um, so Callum Patterson is absolutely petrifying Jamal Collins. Jamal Collins isn't challenging anything in the air. he probably lose it, but he's got a challenge. So, yeah, there's got to be an improvement in the second half. At times, we're slow again, lethargic, but uh, we've got to step it up to set the second 45 minutes, because uh, it's marginally better than QPR. But, um, and, you know, decent in the centre of the park, but uh, we've really got to go get around them. We have the likes of O'Dowd and Ogbo out there. Not really creating too much, so hopefully we'll have a big improvement second half. Number one rule of having a pint. You'll always miss a goal. Oh, for God's sake. Of course I missed it. Da, 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 da. So I was young. I happened again and it's Bannon as well for God's sake four games in a row ridiculous Go wake up! Tada! Oh, unlucky Rambo. <laughs> Ref, come on! Well done. Oh, come on, get up, man. Come on, come on. Ruben. Good 
Look at the space that Tanner's in, for God's sake. Oh. Well in Tanner. Yes! Ref, come on. Yes, come on. Come on. There we go. Watch this go over the bar. Come on, boys. It looked for so long that we were going to end up bottling again and drawing it 1-1 after some shaky, uh, let's just say some shaky defensive mistakes. But we got there in the end with a handball, Ryan Wintle putting away the penalty. So got the points on the boards and yeah, I mean, got to be happy with the win considering the performance. So what do you think? Well, the performance second half was a lot better than the first. We had a, a bit more energy, didn't we? And the, and the substitutes who came on, the likes of Tanner, 
um, to a certain extent. Cole Wilde, he had, had some good passages of play. Callum Brandt looked all right, didn't he? Jamalou Connors went off, moving um, Odauda back into defence. But <laughs> those defensive frailties are still there. Barry Bannon, he, it was a bit of a, it was a very good strike from him, you've got to say. But uh, for the heading into injury time or added time, as they like to call it now, what was it? I think we scored on something like the 95th or 96th minute, wasn't it? From uh, from that pit, the Wintel penalty, definitely penalty. We were right behind that goal, and it flew across. And it, I think what was he trying to do <laughs> diving header or a header away? And it, you could tell it hit his hand. You could hear it. But uh, yeah, the, the scenes in the Canton end at the end after the final whistle and after we score were were um, haven't been seen <laughs> in the Canton end for years. But we haven't had much to cheer about, have we? And finally, we get three points on the board. It was a, a tight match. Sheffield Wednesday, to be fair, they, they battled for everything as well. But I think we just had a little bit too much quality for them in the end. And hopefully, the next home game, we can take three points as well. Because we know who that's against. Exactly, and we've got to be winning that game as well. We've got Ipswich uh, next weekend as well. Uh, that's going to be a difficult tie. I believe they just now already lost about 4-2 to Leeds as well um, in and out of that game um, until the end. But <laughs> it was funny because uh, Joel Perot's actually got his first goal for Leeds, which is always, score, he, and always hilarious. So And obviously Swansea lost, so we'll be singing the blues tonight, as they say. So if you have enjoyed it, please don't like and subscribe. Don't you can support the channel. That would be appreciated. Follow us on social media in the description below. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.